I've been playing soccer since I was three. My favorite position would be left wing. I've scored three goals on my left wing. I'm a striker most of the time, and I have to go on defense a lot. As a soccer player, I look down and I see that the turf water is actually really different from the grass water, and that's very odd. So I wanted to compare the runoff water of the turf and the grass fields. Claire, I think what you're doing is really, really important because I think we need to know if we're getting exposed to these pollutants that may be coming off these fields, if we're breathing little particles that come out of the turf fields for one, or if we're going to drink or use groundwater that may ha be polluted from the grass fields. This is um, the grass field, so there's puddles. Oh yeah, I see them. This is a puddle and it's some, it's, some of it is made out of rain and some of it is made out of this sprinkler that waters the field. So there are a couple of drains around here. The, the water can either go inside the grass and go inside the sewers. Look at the color. So what, what's that color coming from? It's coming from the grass, from the grass and, and the mud. The dirt, huh? yes. But there could be some stuff that is dissolved in this water? Yeah, yeah, probably. And that's what we're going to test? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm taking another sample. Now I'm going to write the date and what time it is. And why are we doing that? So I don't lose track. Mm -hmm. Crumb rubber is old tires that are shredded into little pieces. They take, as you said, tires, they grind them up and they kind of put them together to make it as if it was soil. And then on top of that, they fuse the plastic blades of the grass, the green part that you run over. So when the ball hits the turf, the crumb rubber actually comes up. And when you go like this, look how much crumb rubber you have. So, who wants to get past what we do? Me! Me! If you have enough test tubes. Great. Here, can I use someone's like Great! Here's another one. Just keep on taking them out. Here, guys. What's this all about? Okay, so Claire, let's summarize what we did today. We took your samples, we filter them, we put them on the instrument here. We want to run your samples and get a result from the instrument that will come up in this curve over here and that will tell us exactly how much nitrate, phosphate, and ammonia is in each one of your samples. And this is what we wanted to find out for the grass under turf fields, isn't it? In San Carlos, they're um, having a big debate on whether or not they should put turf on the, gra on the fields instead mm -hmm. of grass. I'm gonna probably help this debate, probably.